This is a place for planting, for digging, for harvesting, for relaxing. It's a place to get your hands dirty, but most of all, it's about having fun. And that's what you'll always have when you're in the garden with Doug Oster. You want a green thumb too, don't you? Make way for the, whoop, make way for the Bargain Express. Fellow cheapskates know that the official start to summer marks the time that nurseries put things on sale. When James got here to set up, he said, how much did you get that for? Original price, $129. It's been sitting at the nursery for years, $35. Now the fun part, let's fill it up and plant it. Well, here are our plants, and again, got for a, a deal. This Brugmansia, which has some hanging trumpet-like flowers, was originally $24 for $14. And the Euphorbia, the white ones, and the purple sweet potato vine were a dollar off. And we're gonna plant like we normally plant our containers, our thriller, fillers, and spillers. So the Brugmansia is on sale because it's starting to look a little tired in this pot. It's using up everything in here. And they don't know the variety. They don't know what color it is. So that's why I picked the white Euphorbia to put in here. And then we gotta cross our fingers at the purple sweet potato vinyl work and we're just gonna bring this out of here and look at that I mean that's just completely ready to go I don't even think I have to tear those off and put it down in here same level it was in the pot and then after that we'll start putting in our other plants and I think it's gonna look most awesome All right, what do you think? I think it's gonna look nice, that wispy euphorbia, the purple. I wish I had one more of these, but they only had two left at the nursery. It'll take over. All right, let's continue looking at the bargains. I'm gonna water this in. So another advantage to choosing a plant like Brugmansia is that it can grow inside at the end of the season. Don't tell my wife, I'm not supposed to bring in any more plants but I'm hoping to overwinter this inside and then bring it back out in the spring. And so we're doubling our savings back to bargains. Well, I often say the best garden center is the closest one to you. In my case, that's Han Nursery. And that's where everything from that first project came from. And that's where this came from. I love hunting around at the nursery, as you know, looking for bargains. And this already planted, cool looking watering can container was only 10 bucks. If you just wanted the can, it's two bucks. I couldn't believe that they had ones for shade, which is for me, and then they also had a sun lover. And we just need to find a spot for this, but there's still more bargains to talk about. I want everyone to be able to see this. It looks cool right here. Well, here's something else I love to do, which is getting plants at a discount and bringing them back to life. I don't mind waiting. This comes from another one of my favorite nurseries called Best Feeds, but this is not indicative of their nursery stock. They probably would never sell this to you, but we agreed, hey, how about 10 bucks and I'll try and bring it back. What happened was that it was right next to the hose spigot and when anybody went to get the hose, they said, oh, I better give it a little water. It got too much water. So we always know that anything with dead wood, which if it just cracks off, it's dead and that's dead. That dead wood has to go. I'm gonna trim away the dead wood and then I'm gonna plant it. And it's probably gonna be two years that it's gonna take to bring it back and have these beautiful blooms. But when it does bloom from then on, I'm gonna tell everybody that sees it, hey, I only paid 10 bucks for it. That's how I roll. All right, it looks a little worse for the wear, but like I said, in a season or two, it is gonna be spectacular and I'll be bragging. Let's get it in the ground. All right. We have a nice planting hole back here filled with compost. We're not even gonna water this once we get it in because it is soaking and work it down into the, yeah, this thing is just absolutely soaking and we're good to go. We have the ultimate bargain <laughs> next to finish up with. I'm gonna get a little mulch on this after it dries out though. Well, the ultimate bargain is free. <laughs> I was speaking at the Western Pennsylvania Mushroom Club, telling them all about my garden with statues that have broken heads and broken hands. And 
one of the members emailed me the next day and she goes, you know, these really don't work in my garden. It sounds perfect for yours and they are perfect for mine. This frog has got a broken foot, but the way I've got it set up here, you can't see it. It's guarding the stairway and I've got the perfect spot for this guy. Now check me out online. That's where you can find lots of other garden stuff there, blog posts and videos. Till next week, you know what I'm going to be doing, searching for bargains. We'll see you then.